too. Hey, <laughs> there you are. So glad you made it here. I was just thinking about you. Well, uh, today I've got a, I got my woodpecker whirly gigs kits ready to go, and I want to show you how to put them together today. It's pretty simple. It's about five. You got to drill five holes, basically, is what you got to do. Well, here's what comes with the kit. You got a stand, and it's got this spindle that goes in here. I would start by sanding this stand down and gluing it together. It's not glued together. So I do that first, and then I build my propeller here. It's pretty simple. I would glue that all together with wood glue, and then I would uh, I would nail it right. Put a little some brad nails, just little half inch ones, right here and right here. And then I take the drum sander and, and sand these smooth. So something like this one, you can see I I sanded all this part down. So it's all nice and smooth. And it just looks nicer. All right. So you got the propeller all put together. Next, I find a log. This one's about sixteen inches. Yeah, so it's kind of like a piece of firewood, and it's about three inches across, I think. See that? This one, maybe two and a half inches. This one. I would say three inches is probably better. A little bit wider. Give you more room. Okay. Well, first thing we need to do is get this log mounted onto the stand. So you got something to work with. You need a half inch hole. And I like to use a small bit first. What we're going to do is we're going to be putting this in the hole. It's got a little stopper there too. Sometimes it's good to like turn it. You get it good and straight up and down. You do the best you can. We'll work our way up to half in it. You can check it and see how it looks on the stand. I think that's going to be okay. Go to a half inch. Wrap this on there so it wouldn't get lost. I'm going to take some of this weld bond. It's a universal adhesive it says and I'll just put some on this about like that pound this in here about like that good right at the tip I'll put some a little bit of adhesive. Hopefully it won't gum up the inside of this tube too much. <laughs> Put it in there a little bit. Okay. So now So next, pick a face that you think looks good. I, I kind of like this face here. It's kind of broad. Well, what you want to do, you just want to kind of hold it up there and figure out where, where you want to put it. I'm looking at this tail here, and so I'm thinking it'll go right about here. That looks like pretty good. So we'll drill this hole next. 
and we want to drill it at an angle. You can kind of see the angle it's got to be drilled. So we'll go at a pretty good angle there. Again, I'm going to start with a small drill bit. Yeah. And you want to ream this out really well. And because you want a lot. You want a lot of room for adjustment. Set this in here like this. Oops. I kind of like that. It's close. Probably need to cut a little bit off this dowel. Let's make a couple marks here. And one mark here. Again, I'm going to start with a small drill bit and I'll go to a bigger one. Quarter inch. Okay. Now we're gonna see if it's gonna fit. Fit it on there like so. Eventually, you can get to something about like this. Then I like to put a rubber band on there. Okay, you got it all in place. Once you're satisfied, you can kind of bend these feet down so they. They touch better. Ooh, this one has got a long ways to go. <laughs> there we go. That's not too bad. That's pretty much it. If you want, you can mark here. the head's hitting. <laughs> the head goes right in the hole. All right. Now we can see where to drill the hole for the crankshaft. It should be somewhere from the middle in here. So I would say somewhere, you can kind of look at it from this angle too. This hole needs to be a half inch too. But we'll start with a smaller drill bit here. Get us started. Make sure you get it at right angles. Okay, okay, now we'll finish up with the half inch. Look at that, we're perfect right where we want to be. So we can glue in a couple bearings. I just put some super glue on there. I got the gel. I can turn them. Ok, 
okay. And we'll just feed them in there. One more bearing in here. That'll make three bearings. That'll be good. We'll put a bearing on this side. And you want to make sure that the bearings are aligned. If they're not aligned, they won't, won't turn freely. Whoa. I got this at a bad angle. <laughs> I thought I had it in there straight. Well, I didn't do a very good job on that. Hopefully it won't matter too much. So, now, I'll take this like this. Feed that on there like that. I have to do a little bit of juggling. Got that like that. Crankshaft on there. Now let's put the propeller back on. If you find that your hole is at a bad angle, if it's really bad, just plug the hole and with a half inch piece of dowel and re-drill it. I could do that's how I could fix this. Well, let's fix this crooked hole. I'm just going to put a dowel in there and, and then re-drill it. Well, this is the low side. Actually, this is uh, just about perfect where it should be. And this is too high, so I'm going to start drilling like right here, I think. Let's see if we can straighten it out. Got this straightened out now. Okay, that's pretty much it. First, you, you want to paint this figure, and I, I would do a test fit before you you get ready to paint it. That's looking pretty good to me. Make a little mark. It's right about here. So we take this and we'll go. Swage it a little bit. Just deform the metal just a little bit so it's not moving. It can't move too much. And we'll come over here on this side. Now those bearings are locked on that shaft. Anyway, that's pretty much it. And the way I've been attaching 
these feet to the log when you get ready to permanently attach it. I just use this uh, JV quick weld. JV quick weld. Mix some of that up, put it in the holes, and just. And at the same time, you got to do this one too. See, so put glue in here, here, and here. And then just hold it in place with a rubber band, and you're good to go. Now you got yourself a woodpecker whirly gig. That's pretty awesome. All right, friends, that's the woodpecker whirly gig kit. I got three of them ready to go. I'll be selling them in my Etsy shop. It's a pretty, it'll be a pretty easy kit to get working right. Hey friends, thanks for stopping by. I sure appreciate it. Take care. We'll see you down the trail. Bye now.